What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be another DIY vid. The test for today is going to be to change out the air filter on Honda 919. And to do that it's going to be pretty simple. All you're going to need is a 3 16 hex wrench, uh, your standard little Phillips head screwdriver, and your air filter. And the air filter for the 919 is going to be on the left hand side or the clutch side right under the seat behind this plastic cover. And then behind that is another cover we're going to have to remove in order to get to the filter. Now to remove this is pretty simple. All you can have is this one hex screw and then two grommets right at the top and the end of this panel. If you need to you can remove the seat but most of the 919s have pretty loose seats so you can kind of get it pulled out without actually removing the seat. So let's go ahead and take this off. Now like I said it's up to you if you want to take off the seat or not but you don't really have to. Comes off that easy. Now as you can see here, this is the other cover we have to take off. This is where, this is the intake cover basically. As you can see, I already do have a K&N air filter in here, but if you've seen my Instagram story, you know exactly why we're removing this. So once you got to this point, you're gonna need your Phillips head screwdriver and all you're gonna have are three screws. Well, the first screw is gonna be located right here. You can't really see the screw, it's right there, little tabs right there. We got another one down here, and the last one is right there. So give me a second to get those removed. Ideally, you'd have a, a magnetic screwdriver. That way you don't lose any of these little bolts. But if you don't, just be careful. And then a quick note just for your, your reference and your information. All three of these screws that came off of the secondary cover, they're all the same, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. The only one that is different is a little silver one that was on the outside cover. And once you get all three of those screws off, this just simply comes on out. Now be careful, don't just yank it out because you do have this attached to the cover. You don't want to just yank it on out. Don't really know what this is, not going to pretend to know. But now with the secondary cover removed, you can see or move to the side, you can see the air filter. Now let's pull that out. There's nothing holding it in there. It's just basically slid in there. But, yep, this is the old air filter. Looks decent, but you saw how dirty this was. Not gonna bother to clean that. Now the inside of this should be clear and clean. You can give it a quick wipe down if you want. Now for the Honda 919, it's gonna be a K&N HA9002. Always visually compare, make sure they look the same. Just swapping these out is really simple. There's nothing holding it in there. It just slides on in. And once you get it seated properly, you just go ahead and reverse everything you just did. So first we'll start off with the screws. Does not matter which order you put them in. And I always like to make sure I at least get the screws started and seated before I tighten them all the way down, just to make sure that there's even pressure around the entire cover. Now to properly get this uh, primary cover on, it's pretty simple. You're just going to slide this part in underneath the seat. And then right above this reservoir is going to be a small little cutout. You can kind of see it right there. That's where uh, this little tab goes into. Now I don't know if I'm missing any parts or I'm missing any grommets exactly. But I mean, my cover stays on. Done over 30,000 miles with it installed this way and I haven't had any issues. So there you go. Just put the screw back on and you're done. Your air filter has changed. All parts are back and you're good to go. Like I said, I'll be doing a video on how to clean these because for the K&N air filters, they are reusable. All you have to do is clean them. So I will be doing a video on that. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, just go ahead and uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Yeah.